How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be doing another video, uh, this time about Ubuntu Touch. So it's done by UbiPorts. Uh, this used to be kind of like the canonical device, of course the canonical operating system, and it has been kept by a community of, you know, just a community of uh, Ubuntu Touch users. I uh, just wanted to showcase a couple things, you know, this is another alternative to the light phone. If you're into, you know, alternative operating systems, this is another good operating system that you can try. Uh, this is on a Nexus 5. Actually, I found out today that my battery is kind of dead at this point. Uh, of course, this phone was like 25 bucks. I bought it off of Amazon and I'll probably provide a link below that you can get it. I, you get it used, you port it, you know, and you know, you're not going to be dealing with a lot of things. Uh, but I just wanted to showcase a couple of things, you know, how it works, you know. So as you see, it's like any other regular. This is a Nexus 5, by the way. Uh, and, you know, you just put your passcode in. Uh, and then you have, you know, different things like uh, I have Podbird there for podcasts, uh, UNAP for navigation, and you even have a, a open store. So you have a, an app store that you can use, but of course, it's not as robust as like the regular app store, you know, from uh, Apple or from, of course, uh, Google, right? But you have certain apps, you know, you have Pure Maps, uh, which will be kind of like another navigation thing. Uh, you also have... Uh, other applications that you can get into, like exercise or, you know, uh, fat burners, for example, right there, it talks about the, maybe about calories. Uh, so you can search uh, most things. Um, I haven't done much, uh, kind of like I, I've used it for maybe a couple times, a couple days, uh, but not a lot. Uh, as you see, the battery is coming down. I found out that my battery is kind of malfunctioning at this point. I'll probably have to replace this device if I'm going to use uh, this in the future. But, you know, it has the updates uh, and everything in there. Uh, but it works really well. It's really fast. You know, right there, there's a YouTube, you know, uh, configuration. There's a YouTube app that you can use. As you see, it's very gesture based right there. You know, if you want to kind of like close something, you swipe all the way. If you want to switch between your devices right there this is the messaging platform you can message i i don't think they have brought swipe yet into it uh but you know that's just how it works uh you have your contacts phone uh this is how it looks for the operating system like you know the just the apps layout you know file manager it has a lot of powerful things i have even seen a couple of other youtubers that explain how to install certain apps like whatsapp or you know things of that nature but you know i just wanted to bring the video for you guys you know so you know this is another alternate operating system that you can use uh just in case that you you know want to use something different that you don't want to you want to try something new maybe not android maybe not ios you know you just want to see what's still being supported uh because a lot of other operating systems are, are not supported anymore you have weather right there um it doesn't it's not the cleanest to be honest it doesn't look the best uh in every application there's some applications that are very well designed uh, and you have to kind of like play around you know with with the different kind of like functions and everything that it's available uh there's podbird uh this is the podcast app and you can download and add your feeds you know things of that nature but this is another kind of like alternative operating system let me take you to the browser so you can see how it works you know just a little bit again this is on a nexus 5 it's very easy to install um excalibur pc that's a pc because okay, so let's see uh this is a um duck, duck, go right there boom it loads pretty fast it works pretty well you know like uh pretty much like there are there's some good stuff that you know comes with it comes with the device there's music a media player uh things that the light phone especially doesn't have but if you want to avoid some of the you know kind of like distracting apps and more games you know and all of that you can use this device um maybe give you a couple extra things on the tour uh, system settings right like you know what is this running on it's running on the ubuntu platform right uh, if you're kind of familiar with linux uh this, this is what it's running on you can have updates right um let's update all uh, this is probably like more like system settings you know and things of that nature uh but you can also uh, i have seen like you know you can you can do different channels so like if you want to be like kind of like on the developer channel uh, there it is release candidate you know uh, i usually use the release candidate just to get the latest you know kind of like um the latest operating system from ubiport uh, and it works really well i think our time has come to run because the device doesn't have any more charge but i just wanted to showcase that and 
Uh, you know, thank you for watching, and I'll be just probably try to plug it in right there. Nexus powered by Ubuntu it may not power up again. Um, my battery is kind of dead, like I said, but at least I was able to showcase a little bit. If you have any questions, just drop them below, and I'll be able to respond to them as best as I can. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.